composition of functions, composition of functions. This is, it's another operation of working with functions, but it's when one of the functions totally depends on the other, it gets plugged into the other. So at, it's a little bit different notation. It's f with a little open circle. So kind of like where the times is, but it's an open circle. And we read this f of g. Or even, I'm going to write away. Let's put the parentheses with the x around it. f of g of x. And probably the easier way to, to rewrite it is this is the same as f of, in parentheses, g of x. Because this really shows that if it's in this order, the g function is going into the f function. Okay. Or if I have going the other way, a lot of times we, we go either way or use different variables. g of f of x is g parenthesis f parenthesis x and then them. So this one, g of f, is uh, meaning that f is going into the g function. Okay, so sometimes people say this is fog and goth uh, because it looks like an O. It's not an O. It's a little composition symbol. Okay, so let's do, write this, rewrite that smaller up on the side for a minute. You should still have it in your notes, but f of g is f of g of x g of f okay so let's say f of x is negative 3x and g of x is 4x plus 5 okay so I've got two functions so let's first do f of g which means I'm going to do f of g of x like this G is the one on the inside, so whatever, uh, it's always that that order. G goes on the inside. So before, I'm not, I can't just jump right into it. I'm going to bring down F, and I'm going to plug in whatever G of X is right here. So that means 4X plus 5 gets replaced with G of X. So this is the same as this, is the same as this, so I can just replace it. Okay, so now I'm doing F of that. So this means, so if our F, See right here, f of x, here's an x, here's an x in my f function. So this is going to go right here, just like this is a mismatch. Now this and whatever is right there is going to match. So negative 3 times 4x plus 5. Okay. Just like if we have a number, like if it was f of 1, we would do negative 3 times 1. So whatever's there goes right there. And then we would just distribute. And that is my answer, simplified. Okay. Um, so now, let's say we, we do a number. F of G of 2. So let's say I'm asked to find F of G of 2. Well, now that I have this, I could just plug in 2 where I see X. Negative 12 times 2 minus 15. So that's going to be negative 24 minus 15 is negative 39. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. You know, this was the quickest way to get it, but just kind of really try to figure this out a, a little better, this composition. Let's do it a different way. Let's say first I'm going to do g of 2. So g of 2 is 4 times 2 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. So now I, this is 13, so f of 13, okay, f of 13, that should be negative 3 times 13 is negative 39. So notice, you know, both of these ways, here, here I'm using the already composed function, I get negative 39. Here I do it one at a time, I do g, then I do f of whatever that is, still get the same answer. Okay, so it, it works. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go the other way. Let's do g of f. g of f of x. So that means g of f of x. I always rewrite it like that. It gets too confusing if you try to jump, skip a step, and then I always rewrite g of whatever f of x is, 
And now I'm looking, okay, this right here is going to get plugged into that equation. Okay, so 4 times negative 3x plus 5. So negative 12x plus 5. 